Welcome lads, we're back for another video. Today, we are looking at 81 rated, second in form, Mauro Icardi. He's got 81 pace, 85 shooting, 65 passing, 80 dribbling, and 80 physical. He's got medium attacking work rates, low defensive. Where it's all let down though is he's got two star skill, which is really good four star weak foot. Now his price is a bit above discard value and it's dropping by the hour, frankly. It's around 15k on Xbox, 19k on PlayStation. For a very good player here, frankly. If he had three or four, if he had four star skill, which would be worth way more. And looking at his traits, he's definitely someone that likes to get in behind, tries to beat the defensive line. He's selfish, don't quite know what any of that means. Power header. He's five foot eleven. His specialities are aerial threat and poacher. So crossing with this guy is definitely an option, as we'll see later in the in-game stats. You know he's gonna be scoring headers. Now I think that might be one of the better options with him, because of his two-star skill moves. He's just limited. You know you got the ball rolls, but really you kind of lackluster really in that area. And I liked his other inform, and I like this card. But he's just limited, I feel. He's strong, he can shoot, he's quick, he can pass okay. He's got the stats, he just, just that one thing, that one thing. If he's up to three star skill moves, he's just on another level. But without further ado, let's check out his in-game stats. Looking at his skill stats, his ball control is okay at 83. Not the best curve at 66, with horrible free kick accuracy at 49. No, don't do that. But what this guy does have is 92 finishing, 77 dribbling, 91 heading accuracy. I talked about his traits earlier. 83 shot power, 77 short passing, and 58 long passing. Bit of a disappointment there. But oh my days, this guy just scores goals. His long shots aren't great at 71. The stats there are saying, basically, just shoot. Just don't do anything with this guy, but shoot. Now, looking at his physical stats, he's got amazing attacking positioning at 92. Great acceleration at 81. And uh, same for the sprint speed at 81. 83 strength. I mean, this guy just looks like a tank. And then he's got 99 jumping. I really think that my biggest mistake with playing with this guy was I did not cross the ball. Holy shit. But I just, I've tried to cross the ball. I just don't know how. He's got 83 agility, 82 balance. Holy shit, he's got some good stats, lads. Oh my days, he's definitely got the numbers there to uh, be a great player. It's just going back to the fact that you don't have three-star skill moves. And that kind of negates all these good stats. You know, he's kind of my player. I'm always looking for a striker that can score goals on a regular basis. And he seems to have that. But does he have that ability to create that space? To score the goals but now let's jump in to some highlights as we can see here he picks the ball up he just kind of bursts through at this point that's his one skill move he can do and once he gets into the box i mean this guy scores goals he doesn't mess around here again he's just wide open you don't leave a card wide open he'll score a goal every day of the week and then he's just he's just gonna get through and here oh look at him you know he's just doing what he has to do he can't quite well he actually does put that away i thought that was gonna hit the bar there did hit the bar, I think. I think it hit the bar and went in. And here he's just here. He's just got the space. And he's just he's just curving it. It just didn't quite work out for him on that try. Uh, my personal belief is that finesse shots aren't as overpowered as a, a long blast. Now, here he's just, oh, he's just doing his skill moves that he can do. Gets through. And he can't quite put it away. But what, no disappointment there. He was always doing something great. Here he's just dancing around. And what a finish. He's not even moving to get the kind of power to get that by the goalkeeper. He's a finisher. And he's really a complete striker in a way. Because he's got the pace, the power and the ability to score goals. And barring you play in a way that plays to his strengths. You're not going to make people miss. But he's got a few little moves in his locker. That he can make that defender miss, create that space, and then just let loose. And we're not even talking about the crossing ability with this guy. As he just goes on a great one, gets taken out, we'll get a penalty out of this. But we're going to bring an end to this video now. And uh, really kind of talk about, before we say goodbye, why this guy needs, maybe, you just need to play a little bit differently. As he just tries out a free kick here. 
spoon round the Woolwich, the post. I mean, he, we talked about his free kicks earlier. He can't quite finish it. I'd have to give this player really a 9 out of 10, frankly. I mean, I th he's a three-star skiller. He's a 10 out of 10. He was that dominant when I actually played with him. I was a little put off by the skills, but once you play with him, you'll see what I mean. Anyways, make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, follow me on Twitter, at FIFA Wisdom, and make sure you subscribe so you catch all my videos. And I'm out. Bye-bye.